Hey guys, it's Alyssa from Online Fabric Store. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a French mattress style cushion. I'm making mine for a bench seat, but these are really popular as floor cushions or as decorative mattresses for day beds. So let's get started. Mark and cut the foam to the size you want your cushion. Mine's going to be 17 by 36 inches. Using spray adhesive, attach the Dacron padding to your foam. Lay the foam on the Dacron padding and wrap the padding around the piece, trimming off any excess. Spray the adhesive onto the foam and lay the padding on top. Make sure that the Dacron is laying as flat as possible and isn't folded over in any spots or you're gonna be able to feel them through your cushion. Measure and cut two pieces for the top and bottom of your cushion. This should be the dimensions of your foam plus one inch for seam allowance. So I'm cutting two pieces that are 18 by 37 inches. Then measure and cut the piece that will wrap around the sides of your cushion. If your fabric is wide enough, you may be able to get away with making this one piece of fabric, but I will need four. Each of my pieces will be the length of the side they are attached to by the height of the foam, and I'll be adding one inch to both of those measurements for seam allowance. And I just wanted to point out, you don't need to make your own cushion from scratch. You can give any old box cushion a facelift with this method. You're just gonna wanna skip to step four. If you have four separate side pieces like me, you're gonna wanna start by sewing them together. Lay out the first two with the right sides together and sew up the short side with a half an inch seam allowance. Then take the next two pieces and do the same thing. Pay attention to what pieces you're sewing if the cushion is not a perfect square. You want the sides that are the same length to be parallel to each other. Pin the open ends of the first and last piece and sew them with right sides together. Now, pin or clip the sidewalls to the top piece of your cushion with right sides together. Make sure the corners match up on all four sides. Sew around the perimeter. Then, pin or clip the bottom piece of the cushion to the other side of the wall. You're going to want to sew around the perimeter, but leave an opening large enough to insert your foam. Turn the cushion right side out and insert the foam. Sew the opening shut using an invisible stitch. See our tutorial if you don't know how. Mark where you're going to tuft on both sides of the cushion. I'm using Dritz cover buttons, so see our tutorial for details if you want customizable buttons. String a button onto a piece of upholstery thread. Put both ends of the thread through the eye of an upholstery needle and stick them through the cushion to the other side. Then string another button onto one end of the thread. In this piece, create a loose knot and then take the other half of thread and stick it through the loop. This will create a slip knot that you can tighten as much as you want. To secure the button, tie a couple of normal knots around the base and then trim the ends of the thread down. Use this method to tuft across the entire cushion. Now to create that classic French mattress look. Start by measuring and marking out where you're going to create the French mattress roll. Your marks on the top of the cushion should be directly in line with the marks on the sides. Mine are going to be a half inch from the edges and are going to be an inch and a half apart. Take a piece of upholstery thread and string one side through a curved needle. Bring your needle and thread up through the side of the cushion and out the top. Then, sink the needle back into the fabric, pretty much at the same place, and come out where you originally started. Create a slip knot the same way as before and pull it tight. Then, to hide the ends of the thread, we strung them through the eye of the needle one at a time and stuck them into the cushion, coming out at a random spot. We pulled the thread tight and then cut it loose so the end of the thread remained inside the cushion. You can use a regular needle for this step too, but the curved needle was a little easier to create the effect we are going for. Repeat this around all the edges of your cushion. And now your mattress is complete. Thanks for watching this OFS project. Like and subscribe to our channel for more crafting videos, tips, and tricks. See you next time. The materials you will need for this project are decor fabric, I'm using Bella Velvet Caribbean fabric, upholstery foam, Dacron padding, spray adhesive, a ruler, thread and upholstery thread, scissors, a tufting needle, and a curved tufting needle, which is optional, 
a fabric marker, Dritz cover buttons, pins or clips, and a sewing machine.